Okay, so I made a video um, about a week ago, I think, uh, about Switch OLED that I bought uh, after like half a year of its release and initially I had no plans to buy it but uh, yeah like I explained on my last video uh, I explained why I got it after all and now after being using it for a week or so uh, I will give my thoughts about it uh, I have it right here. I got the white version uh, because I, yeah, I just think the black and white combination just looks just always, it's always a winner. <laughs> uh, you never really can't go wrong with black and white combination. So yeah, uh, definitely that. Uh, and not the, uh, you know, the traditional red and blue Joy-Con version. But anyway, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about, yeah, my thoughts about it. And uh, in general, I've been really happy that I bought it. Uh, I have no regrets buying it uh every everything just has been positive uh and yeah while there isn't like that many improvements uh it's enough for me to you know justify the uh extra money that i put and upgraded to this uh, OLED uh, instead of keeping my original version 1. Yeah, just had to mention that I had the version 1 and not the first version 2 switch, which pretty much only had a better battery life. That's it. It was in any, in a, every other way, it was identical. And I have my orange shoes. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so first of all, which really popped, popped out uh, was the bigger screen. I mean, yeah, I already knew that it's a big difference between 6.2 inch screen and 7 inch screen. It's a big, big difference. And while the console itself is pretty much, uh, is pretty much uh, identical in sight, I, I think uh, the height is identical. And also I think the thickness is identical. Not sure about that, but the white, is only four millimeter longer than the original so i would say it's so little that it's you can almost say it's identical in size uh, if you are wondering if this is much bigger no it's pretty much identical in every measurement to the original but the thing is, there's much more thinner edges, you know, the black edges uh, on the screen than on the original. So I think you can quite clearly see if you know the screen of the original Switch, it had much more thicker uh, those black lines on the edges of the screen but this has much thinner so that makes it a much larger screen 
but still keeping the same uh, size of the original pretty much. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> my crappy camera doesn't make justice for the, you know, uh, for the quality of the screen, but OLED is, yeah, it's like, uh, it's much better than the original LCD screen. Uh, there's all my games and also YouTube app. Anyway, um, yeah, um, so, and I just, I don't have the Nintendo online, but I just use it my free trial, so I downloaded the NES, NES and SNES emulations, and I'm going to play some Nintendo classics, of course. <laughs> but yeah, um, the screen size is the first thing I really noticed, and also, uh, yeah, the brighter, more vivid colors, of course, of the OLED screen. It's really noticeable. It's actually much more noticeable than I thought it would be. I guess there are differences of qualities of OLED screens. And I would say Switch has one of the best, if not the best, OLED screen I have seen like comparing to some smartphones I have that has OLED screen. This is on the par or even better quality OLED screen than on some of my smartphones. Uh, yeah, really impressed by the screen and also, yeah, these, like the stand, like now it's very adjustable, you know, you can even, it goes to this angle. So it's very, very adjustable. Uh, unlike the first, first Nintendo versions, uh, uh, and version 2 that had the tiny ridiculous stand that you only pretty much, uh, there was only one angle you get, you could put it. And it was, so, I would say the angle was something like this. But yeah, you can adjust this very, very freely. And let me show you, uh, I, on that video I said that it was impossible for me to you know, put it on my soft surfaced bed and it would not stand up. But if I put this, yeah, it stands up uh, like no problem. It stays and doesn't fall. Like, yeah, you could see on the edge of my screen that it actually stands <laughs> using this much improved stand uh, and also yeah let me put this on sleep mode uh, and also I had been struggled with the you know storage space for quite some time with my original Switch. Uh, I had so many games, as, as you could see, I had quite many games on Switch installed. So now having the extra 32 gigabytes on internal storage, I, I still use my 64 gigabyte micro SD card that I use it on my original Switch. Um, but yeah, that makes a big difference for me. Now, now I can, now I can 
keep much more games installed on my Switch than originally on my uh, on my original Switch. So yeah, 32 gigabyte is a big deal uh, for me having an extra space. Uh, and yeah, I I haven't I still haven't been playing that much uh, that I would have uh, with this OLED that I would immediately like see the difference in battery life but what I have seen I already see it's better definitely better than the original which of course over the years got much worse the battery life it was pretty bad in the end with my original suite so yeah i i still can see it's quite much better and longer battery life uh, and also this has been advertised to have a better st stereo speakers on the switch and i've noticed I've played some music, uh, which I think is a better way to really uh, test out those speakers than just game sounds and uh, stuff like that. So I played some uh, played some music songs on it, and I kind of hear that the bass is a little bit better it, it's still not very strong but it's definitely better than on the original speakers and it's a louder somewhat N not that much but it's still louder if you put it on max volume uh, and yeah i i mean those pretty much are the uh, improvements that this OLED has but yeah like I said for me it those improvement just justifies the extra money I put it put into OLED and this upgrade I would definitely definitely not go to the original after this <laughs> anymore <laughs> no fucking way uh, but yeah, I, I think now that, I mean, you only pretty much, uh, you only pretty much get these, you know, improvements if you play it on handheld. If you play it on TV, TV mode, and if you are a player, let's say you, you only want to play TV mode. I wouldn't recommend you to get this OLED because you don't pretty much get any any improvements if you just play it on TV mode. The the only improvements are you know present when you play it on handheld mode, of course. Uh, well, the in, double storage of internal space uh, space of course is is the only one pretty much you the improvement you get if playing just on tv mode but yeah the bigger screen oled screen better uh, stereo speakers the adjustable much better uh, stand those are only for the handheld mode, you know, of course. So, uh, yeah, but I, I can see I will be playing on handheld mode, handheld mode now much more than before because, yeah, I always thought the screen wasn't that good on the original and also it wasn't as big as I hoped for and yeah this is the 
screen is so much bigger, it's so noticeable on OLED. So I'm very now very satisfied about it's it's big enough for me now. And yeah, just like comparing to my uh, little brother's original Switch screen now, it just looks so small compared to OLED. Like, yeah, it's just so funny that uh, in comparison, I, I wouldn't say it was tiny, but in comparison now, it really looks small and tiny. Uh, yeah, so 0 0.8 inches bigger screen makes surprisingly big difference. But yeah, this is it. Pretty much uh, just wanted to talk and share my thoughts about the about the uh, OLED now after using it for some days and yeah I just think like I said the uh, black and white combination just looks fucking awesome and also the dock which I'm not showing you is uh, white so instead of the original black black color dock this is white and it looks so much nicer. And yeah, I, I think Nintendo wanted to copy, you know, the style of uh, the PS5, PS5's uh, black and white design, uh, you know, with this, the similar style, the black and white uh, switch. I think they wanted to, you know, kind of copy that because we we have always known that Sony copies Nintendo in some ways, and uh, that that's that happens much more than maybe Nintendo has its own ways. Uh, has had its own ways uh, always. Uh, but still, sometimes Nintendo copies copies some things from Sony. Not not much from uh, Microsoft, but from Sony because they are both Japanese companies. Uh, but yeah, anyway, yeah, this is it. Uh, yeah, this just looks absolutely stunning device uh, compared to the compared to the origin. And and this still has, you know, if if still someone is wondering, this still have the. I don't think you. I, I can show you from the uh, good enough angle, but there's the. Uh, five uh three point five headphone jack it's still there uh so you know just saying that because uh many smartphones have uh are now missing it it only has the u s b c where you can uh put the wired headphones that uses the u s b c Port other uh, other than uh, I mean not the older 3.5 millimeter headphone jack but this still has that if someone is wondering uh, but yeah and of course this has well of course this has the same software updates than the original da so it has the uh, uh, Bluetooth connection now, so you can finally use wireless headphones, which wasn't, you know, present uh, originally, with which was very, very fucking weird uh, for Nintendo not to have. But yeah, now we have that after 
like how many years we had to wait for the you know <laughs> bluetooth uh, connection anyway this is it and see you in the next video so bye